You've been playing the model 10P Alhambra. The 10P is part of a, a little group of guitars, the 9P, 10P, 11P, which are in effect the same instrument uh, and differ only in slight decorative features. We pick the middle one, uh, so we like the rosette and the peg head the most. It's uh, a much, much more sophisticated guitar and a good example uh, of how Alhambra likes to think outside the box and get adventuresome in the bracing pattern. They use a very light fan brace construction with one of their characteristic uh, transverse braces that bridges the major braces directly under the bridge. It doesn't tie to the top, it ties the bridges to each other to move bass frequency from the bridge out into the outer fans. Ingenious construction, very delicate and takes a lot of time and uh, for a production guitar it's remarkable to see this kind of detail. Uh, two little fans up top, um, lovely little guitar very uniform, high-grade woods throughout, all solid woods of course. Um, you're playing a guitar that's about five weeks old. This is last year's version, that's this year's version, so this is another example of their constant striving to make changes. They've dressed up the rosette slightly, You've got a very pretty uh, looking high-end tuner with the Fostero type little tips on the end of the tuner. It's very handsome um, and this is last year's flavor, yep. uh, about nine months old. How did you like the guitar? I like this guitar a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, this is definitely a step up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very expressive. It's got lots of volume. Mm -hmm. um, and it sounds incredibly good for basically just out of the box. I'm assuming this guitar hasn't been played much at all. No, you're probably the first one to play it, and I haven't had a chance to alter the action either, so you're really getting it the way it came. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and a typical cedar as well. So this is a, a cedar example. Are you hearing more bass, more... Uh... Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a darker sound, mm -hmm. uh, a richer sound. Um, good bass response, very, very warm trebles. This is the kind of an instrument that uh, I think uh, anybody would be, be comfortable playing a concert on. There's, mm -hmm. there's certainly no, uh, no drawbacks to this guitar at all. Great. Well, next we'll compare this to the same guitar built in spruce. Interested to see what you think of the difference between the two instruments. Sounds good. Thank you. which is Spanish for spruce. So this is a European spruce top instrument. I would assume it was a little brighter than the uh, than the cedar version you played? This is brighter. Um, it's not as bright, uh, surprisingly, as most spruce guitars, other spruce guitars that I played. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely brighter. Mm -hmm. um, the, the range is, is really nice. Um, lots of volume. With spruce guitars, I find that they're quite tight, uh, quite controlled at, start, at first until they're played for a while and open up, but often you can get a good sense of the character of the instrument uh, right from the very first time it's strung up, and you just know you're going to have a little bit more of everything. Uh, would you find that's the case with this kind of guitar? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this will open up for sure. Um, it already sounds nice. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of ready to play, mm -hmm. you know. So a suitable guitar for a, uh, an intermediate player, an advanced player, what would you think? Yeah, intermediate or advanced. There's mm -hmm. no reason why a good advanced player can't get lots out of this instrument. Mm -hmm. Very good. So that's the model 10P Alhambra, um, all solid woods, European spruce top. Thank you. You're welcome.